What's going on guys, Arava here, and welcome back to my Motorsport Manager career mode. We're back with event number two then, coming up next at the Japanese Grand Prix. If you did miss the last episode, it was the beginning of our second season in F1, so be sure to go check that out to get kind of updated on how the season's looking, the kind of potential we've got here. We're going to kick things off with getting stuck into a new design part, because we got, um, at the moment, we've got every part being improved on reliability that we put on last episode. So we've got the two brakes, two gearboxes, and two suspension parts. Once those are about, I would say, 75-ish, I think, would be, I'm confident with that. Then we can remove all those, add things like the engine then. And obviously the the, ne the other six would be, the other four would be front wing and rear wing as well. I may leave, like, the front wing off and continue to improve the brakes. Because from last season, I think that was one part that kept on failing, even though we had got 75% like reliability. So I think they they may be worth just keeping with Susan to kind of improve. But um, apart from the uh, apart from that, the others will probably take off once they're around the 75 region because that's generally okay. And then we can kind of actually properly start working on the performance of these parts. But obviously at this early stage of the season, we need to continue to work on new parts. And at the moment, we're also just working on iterations because obviously it's a bit of a long-term plan. But basically, obviously towards the end of the season, you know, probably around Milan onwards, you want to start Start making risky parts basically um, for the next season onwards. So yeah, I know it's only the second race, but we have to kind of pre-plan for the next season as well. Um, so I'm gonna just get iterations done basically at this stage, and it's not a bad thing. Like my tone of the voice says, the iteration is a bad thing, but it's really not because if I do minus one build time, that's just getting the iteration out of the way, getting one iteration of the engine done, so we can move on to slot two, then slot three, which we've unlocked, and we've also sl uh, unlocked slot four because if we look back at our HQ, you can see now we've got our engine we've got a uh, uh, great unlocked so we do have slot four uh, open to us that we could use to, uh, potentially two great slots i believe or something like that we'll, we'll we'll see once once we get to that as they uh you know we'll cross that bridge once we get to it as, as, as they say but we'll do one iteration but that one iteration is still going to be more than our base part you can see that's uh, where where we are at the moment and this is going to be the base part here and the improvement could be all the way to here so doing one iteration of it, it's not even going to be a bad thing it's it, it, it's kind of a win-win really so we're going to build a part minus 1.5 million pretty decent for an engine to be honest a whole new engine build and that will get done in 11 days time or pretty much uh, 12 days time if you round up and I, th I think that's pretty much it then i think we're all good um yeah let's just continue on and see what comes our way so it looks like nothing's going to come our way, actually. Literally just going to skip all the way to the engine part. We've also got two new sponsors. I'll get to those soon. Uh, but here we go. Uh, report. I oh, know this is a report on the Japanese Grand Prix coming up. 35% chance of rain. All right. And then there we go. There's our new engine. So we're going to not fit that quite yet. We're going to get on straight away to building a new part. Um, in terms of what we're looking at, uh, look, look, yeah, I don't know what, what that accent was like. Um, looking like. Um... I think probably just another engine part, really, at this stage. Suspension, I know, is a little bit down, but suspension's never really been that important for us. And, you know, everything else is looking pretty okay. Rear wing, probably the same as the engine, but I I'm really focused on the engine. I think that's a big part of, of uh, where we should look at it to improve. So, let's go on... Right, this is interesting. Now, what do we do? Do I go for another iteration, perhaps? Because that will get us really quite moving, moving up the moving up the order then potentially. Um, or do I go for big improvements now? I think I want to go for big improvements now, really, to be honest. Because I don't want to think too far ahead of myself. Um, so should we go for build time plus two, fifteen to max, and then twenty five to? That's a risk level though. So if I add this on, I'll be one five seven eight highest potential one five eight eight. That will give us a higher base percentage, will it? Yes, it will as well. Right, so that gives us the highest potential and the highest base value. So I'm going to do that. It's going to take 16.7 days, but, you know, it will, it will be very, very useful to have a, a good a good step up for the engine like that. So we've done one iteration, one proper improvement on the engine coming up. Um, liking that. Okay, actually, what you know what? Let's fit the part first. Let's fit the part. Right. Uh, obviously the reliability will be quite poor, but you can see, look, new part built, and it's the same reliability as we had before, so I can give that pretty much to Perna straight away, because she'll have the nurse perk, remember, so I can give that straight to her. Um, in terms of improving parts, okay, pretty much perfect as well for these guys, let's remove those, let's actually, I, as I said, let's keep the brakes on, because those were quite bad last time, now let's add on, which one was I giving to both drivers, this and this one, right, add those, and let's add on one of the rear wing, one of the front wings, and one of the rear wings, right, there we go, that's all fine, sponsors, let's have a look at that, slot 5, 
Right, we've got uh, I, I Kenny security, uh, Squ Squillado, and Condor. Um, that pretty much looks like a no-brainer, really. The security company looks like to be the best way to go, to be honest. Better, bigger upfront pay, well, not the biggest. This has technically got a bigger upfront payment, but better bo uh, bonus payment. And I think we should really be aiming for podiums now. Um, so let's go for it. Let's accept the offer, and uh, let's see what we can do in the next race with Japan. We've got Chica Balcazar with a, with a new haircut. Apparently, I've expressed myself through my hair. Always felt like I needed a change. Okay, then. Plus five in marketability. Decent. Decent. Fair enough, Balcazar. Adding to your, to your pretty piss poor marketability. Um, right. The Japanese Grand Prix. Rainy in practice. Clear in the race. Uh, what sponsor objective should I go for? Third or above? Seems pretty nice. 13, 13th or above. That's just selling ourselves short. I don't think we should aim for that. I think we should be aiming for third or above. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Tire selection wise, um, pretty much going for the standard, just very aggressive as always. We'll add in a couple of softs. You never know, but I highly, highly doubt we'll use them anyway. Um, and that will be good. Part fitting wise, I think they're both content, even though I've given the much better engine to Pernay. They're both pretty content. So I'll just leave it as is, really. Leave it as is. You can see from here on the right side, they've both got their strengths in terms of what the car's going to be good at. Pernay's car looks to be a little bit better in the low speed corners, but Balcazar's got much better acceleration, it looks like. So, you know, a bit of a trade off there. And if we look back at the actual racetrack itself, uh, what's good is deceleration and medium speed corners. So technically, Technically, Balcazar has a tiny bit of an advantage here, but at the same time, uh, actually, wait, hang on, that's brakes. That's not the gearbox, is it? That's the brakes. I completely misread that. Um, where is it? Pit parts. Oh yeah, no, it was. Uh, it was. It wasn't the brakes. Actually, in that case, then it's. Uh, no, it is Balcazar. I'm mistaken. What am I talking about? The orange is still Pernay. Okay, so Pernay has an advantage in low speed and acceleration. But Alcazar actually has the advantage in uh, deceleration, medium speed, and high speed. Just a tiny bit on the high speed. Um, so that does mean Balcazar... I was correct in my first statement then. Balcazar will have a little bit of advantage, it looks like. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Because Pernay technically is the better driver. So we'll see about that. But let's go to practice and uh, update you when, uh, when that ends. Right, we've got two minutes left, or under two minutes, and uh, this is pretty much going to be the most useless practice session ever in terms of tyres, because it's been raining the entire way. So I'm actually really praying that, uh, although it said completely clear and sunny for the race tomorrow, that uh, there is some rain, because we've got level two and intermediate. It's level two race trim, so in fairness, that's going to be good. We'll probably get to level three. I've got both drivers out right now at the moment on, on race in, so hopefully, fingers crossed, this just ticks over to level three. Uh, which would be pretty damn good, having the second round only in the season. And generally, it's very tough to get level three uh, when you kick off the season. But to get it straight away in round two would be awesome. Practice ended right now. I don't know if Pernay is going to have enough time. I think she'll get it. There we go. Level three, also on the intermediate. So that's what I'm saying. I actually really hope that, uh, once again, the game is lying to me and that there is some rain in the, in the race because that would be very, very useful then to actually have this level three knowledge on Inters. If not, then us and the entire grid is going into the unknown in terms of no knowledge on the dry tyres because everyone was on Inters. Or, surprisingly, a lot of people on wets, which I don't see a reason why. It never really got wet enough for Inters, in my opinion. Um, so, a little bit weird. So, I'm hoping that it's just Inter period in the race tomorrow. Well, let's see. Let's click, click continue. And uh, let's see, fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, there was some rain. I don't know, my, I, I, don't know I, I might just be that blind, but I'm pretty sure there was some rain just then, wasn't there? Or was that just a glitch? No, that was just a glitch. Yeah, ignore me, I'm blind. Um, yeah, I think that was a little glitch. I, I, I'm not going crazy, though. Please tell me, so someone in the comments tell me, there was like two, three lines that may have looked a little bit glitchy, but it made me think there was some rain there, but there's not. Okay, uh, we'll forget about that. Um, also, a shocking grid position, 15th and 7th. Um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit hard. Okay, anyway, going to go race trim. You know, ooh, refueling is 50% faster. I want to try that out. There's no point in doing intermediates because it looks like it's going to be all dry. So let's go for race trim and nurse. Right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm liking that. Let's uh, let's use that to good effect. 50% faster refuel. So in that case, let's split this strategy a little bit because uh, some of you guys were saying that uh, um, the other thing to what I was saying that maybe it'll actually be a lot faster to fill them up for quite a few laps of fuel. Uh, one of the arguments was I could use rich mix a lot more, but the thing is at this stage in the season when my engine's so poor in reliability, I don't want to use rich mix quite a lot. Um, but Let's test this out. I've got the refueling perk, so I'm going to go lower fuel runs for Balcazar, and I'll go for higher fuel runs with Pernay. Let's see which one wins in the end. 
Um, right, so in that case, tire choice, super softs. We'll fill up for the full 20. Yeah, let's fill up for the full, tw full 20. Go real big. Uh, and then meanwhile, for Balcazar, 10 laps. So these tires will probably only go for about 9 laps, I would say. So let's go Let's let, let's go 10 laps of fuel. Bang on half of what we're giving per day. Let's see which one's going to pan out better. Right, attacking over. Actually, you know what? Let's go pushing. Because uh, I remember, I remember, I, f I keep on forgetting to do that. Because uh, one of you guys, in like three episodes ago, or something like that, um, gave me the theory that they may uh, not bottle it off the start if we go on pushing. Right, third or above, 1.3 million. Not gonna lie, might be quite difficult from these grid slots, but let's see. I said that about the last Grand Prix, and we did pretty damn well. So let's start the race. Let's get into it. We go to five red lights. Two. The Japanese Grand Prix. Come on, let's do this. Barks off from 7th, Perne from 15th, and it is a good start. But then she gets bogged down behind this car here. So it was a great start. Electric start, actually, from Balcazar, but then she got bogged down. The same for Perne, who's down in 17th place. That always seems to happen, actually, to be fair. Um, but we'll continue pushing on like this. We're actually going to go to high fuel mixture for Balcazar, because obviously she's, she's got less fuel to burn, whereas Perne doesn't. So we can keep her on attacking mode for now. What's the reliability like? 48%. 54%. Okay, decent, decent. Obviously, Pernay's got the nurse perk, so it doesn't actually matter too much that balcazar has got the better reliable part because that's what we did last time. And if you remember from last time, Pernay ended up being first uh, in the in the running order because of because of the nurse perk, pretty much. So let's move this now down to high. Let's move this to neutral. In terms of tire temps, tire temps are looking pretty damn nice. So at the moment, we're making a move down the inside Will Balcazar to maybe try and get sixth place. They're still side by side around the final corner, around the last bend. And she does manage to overtake what will be Strambi. And Balcazar is up into sixth place. Meanwhile, Perne down in 18th. But let's remember she has a big, big fuel tank on her. And let's go to neutral now for her because she needs to try and keep these tires in check. Try and extend this stint as much as we can on, on the bigger fuel tank. Whereas with Balcazar, we're lower fuel. That's why we're able to push, and that's why we're up into fifth place compared to the 16th. So we have to remember that. Keep it a bit of a long-term, long-term goal. And you know what? We're going conservative with Pernay. Really stretching this out. Really using this big fuel tank to good use there with her. Whereas with Balcazar, we're going to go neutral now. Actually, going to cons go conserve with her to bring those tire temps back down. And then we're going to try and push a little bit towards the end of the stint, like we did last race. Last race, we generally conserved until like the last in lap and then banged in like a three second faster in lap and that really worked out quite well for us last time so i'm going to try and bring these tire temps down for balcazar as soon as they get to about here i'd say i don't know if you guys can see that clearly on the video but if we bring it down to there then i'll continue to push on with her but for now doing quite well in conserve in fifth place and if i remember back to previous seasons i think gp2 in the last season we had I think it was conservative was actually a pretty decent um, like place to be in. Like the drivers were still gaining quite a bit on other drivers in conservative mode. So we'll keep on that. We'll keep on that. Pernay's doing a fantastic job. Really perfect tire uh, attempts there. We're now going to go into medium there. Let's extend that fuel. And for Balcazar, we'll now go neutral. Yep, that seems like a good range. Now we'll go neutral, neutral pretty much. And you know what? Let's go a little bit higher. You know what? Let's, let's use a bit of fuel. Let's use a bit of fuel. We're closing up to fourth. So let's try and use that. Try and see if we can overtake fourth place, which is Flores on the soft tires, actually, surprisingly. Flores must have uh, had a bit of a lower grid slot. And we do go around the outside, down the inside, through that chicane, around the outside. Come on, Balcazar. Come on, do it. Down inside. Oh, lovely. The kind of fake spoon corner. And then into the hairpin, which I guess you could also... Uh, I don't know. Is that... Uh, I was uh, uh, that 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 co that hairpin corner is like uh, the Jap uh, Japanese Grand Prix corner, uh, the hairpin in sector just at the end of sector two, I would say, um, isn't it? Um, so Balcazar up into fourth place using this high fuel to good use. Now let's go overtake mode because you can see uh, tire wear down to 33%. So let's use all this fuel that we've got for this final in lap here and really use this to good effect. So she's going to come in at the end of this lap. Going to pit in. Uh, we're doing an overcut because it looks like everyone else is pit. Um, right, fuel wise. We're going to be, we've gone 10 laps. So let's fuel up for another 10 laps. And that worked out perfectly. Uh, park condition, looking okay. Looking okay. Pit stop wise, looking, yeah, we'll go balanced. Yeah, yeah we'll go balanced because uh, refueling's faster, isn't it? So that's the thing that's going to help us out, hopefully, on the pit stop. Um, right, going to pit in this lap. Should have just about enough fuel and overtake mode to go through the entire way. And we've got Perne, who is really struggling on our tyres now. So even I had her on conserve the entire way, and she has the same 
shite tyre wear as Balcazar. So that's a little bit iffy. Once again, proving my point that, yes, Pernay's the better driver, but she definitely does have worse tyre wear than uh, Balcazar. But in terms of fuel, now we don't even have to make a fuel pit stop, technically. Like, we can, okay, let's put in a bit more fuel. Let's say four laps of fuel added in. That's only going to be a three-second pit stop. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this works out. Bounds pit stop. Let's go. So you're pitting this lap as well. Right, Balcazar's in. Let's go medium fuel. Please, no mistake on the pit stop. Good, good, good. And there'll be no double stacking because they're, they're far apart enough that there wasn't an issue on that. And so we'll attack out of the pit stops. We're in fifth place, up into fourth. And Pernay gets a good pit stop for her. She's out in 14th place. So she did gain about five positions there in that phase of the Grand Prix. And now we'll continue on. High fuel mixture, conserve, and try and stretch it out a little bit more. At the moment, though, not going to lie. It doesn't look like it's working too much. Balk's up into second place now. Looking good. Let's go down to conserve now. We need to bring those tyre temps back down. We'll go on high fuel mixture. I'm not going to stop focusing on her. I'm going to go back to Perna. Let's try and see what we can do with her. Right. I just The thing is, I know her tyre is bad, so I can't really push her too much because otherwise she won't make the distance. Um, right. What should our plan be here? What should our plan be here? I think it should be go medium, try and keep as much fuel in the tank as possible, but push and basically just have a faster pit stop at the end. I think that might be the plan. Right, sit rep, lap 15. Pernay's up into 10th place at the moment. Decent enough pace, I would say. I mean, I have just put on high fuel mixtures. Let's slow this down so I can just talk you through it. Um, so I, I have been pushing her a little bit more, so that's why she's gaining a little bit more time. Tire temps are skyrocketing, uh, skyrocketing a little bit, so I want to go back down to conserve. But I'm unsure of how to really honestly play this. I just don't know how to how to play this. And meanwhile, Balcazar's now feeling the effects of those less reliable parts. And the same with... Ooh, the front wing's a little bit down. But I just don't know how to play this with her now. I don't know what the strategy's going to really be here. Because we're up against medium tyre runners. I just don't know. I just don't know how we're going to play this. Obviously, the last pit stop's going to be a lot faster. Because we've got so much more fuel in the tank. But uh, is that really going to be enough to gain an advantage? Obviously, let's take into account she was, what was it, eight places back on Balcazar on the grid. So she does have that in to, to, to play, to, you know, also contend with. So I can't bag her too much, really. She was eight places back, and also we had a heavier fuel, and she's a bit worse on tire wave. But she is catching ninth. That is a positive thing. She is really rapidly actually catching ninth. But I just don't know how to play this. How am I going to do this? Do I push right now? I would say maybe push right now and go for an early pit stop. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Right, I'm going to push. Yeah, push. High fuel mixture. Let's push right now, and we're going to pit very, very soon. I would say on the next lap. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm liking that strategy. Overtake mode. Let's pit on this next lap. Right, meanwhile, Balcazar's into first place as people have made their pit stop, so let's not jump the gun a little bit, but she has overtaken two guys on medium tyres. Let's slow this down. Let's check this out. It was a fast pit stop for Pernay, and she's made it work. So now she'll just have enough fuel to get to the end of this race. 6.94. So actually, yes, we can actually push a little bit on high fuel mixture. She's down in 12th place, but fresh tyres. Let's hope that she can try and come back into this and maybe just at the end of this race get into high uh, some good points at the end there. Meanwhile, Balgazar, 34% wear. Are these guys going to pit? Probably so, I'd say. No? Hamilton not pitting yet? Vidal not pitting yet? Let's continue on then. Let's continue on. Let's go into high fuel mixture. Oh, engine's looking a little bit wary. Uh, let's not go into high fuel mixture. If the engine's wary, I don't want to push it anymore. So let's pit in, uh, let's pit in, uh, let's put in on the next lap, but I'm not going to use Rich Mix because I can't afford to because our engine's really worn now. But we're going for one more lap and then we'll pit in this lap. Super softs, right, 1.99, we'll need five laps of fuel. Let's go 4.99 because we're, we're not going to be pushing the engine, we need to save fuel. Basically. Actually, you know what, in that case, may as well put in one less lap of fuel because we are going to be... Uh, that's a little bit risky, isn't it? Actually, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll try it. Um, and balanced fuel. Right, Pernay is going to try and overtake up into 10th place. So she's making good progress. So she, as I said, she could come back into this for the points right at the end of this Grand Prix. Meanwhile, Balgazar, good pit stop. She comes out in second place at a third place at the moment. 
So, we've now got less fuel than we have laps. We're going to go low fuel because the engine's really blowing up now. So, let's try and take this to the end if we can. Meanwhile, for Pernay, she's up into seventh. So, as I said, coming to, into the end of this Grand Prix. Four laps remaining. Hopefully, we can do this. Balcazar's up into second place as well. And Pernay is looking good. Up into sixth, into the point. So, just as I said, latter stages of the Grand Prix. Coming back into this. Coming back into the fold. For, yeah, oh, Jesus, purple first sector, looking really good. Okay, come on, let's keep this going, keep this going. Meanwhile, Balgazar saving fuel, but pushing like a madman on the actual tyres, but saving fuel because that engine is looking worse and worse. I'm praying. I've got both my hands. Oh, my Lord. I am double praying. I've literally got my hands together in prayers that Balgazar can make this through because her car is basically blowing up. Basically blowing up. Meanwhile... Pernay looking good. Crosses the line. Sixth place. Right. So she was actually down. She went down the order and then came back into the order. We've got excess fuel. Let's go high fuel mixture. Let's go pushing. Let's go to the end there. Let's go. Let's get. Let's go attack. Let's go attack. We can get fifth. We can get fifth. I just don't know about Balcazar though. I'm going to slow this down because I, I need to. I need to analyze all this. Oh God. Right, this is going to be so tense. We don't even have enough fuel to get into the Grand Prix, end the Grand Prix, I don't think. I think I may have messed up on the fuel. But we're in second at the moment. Just, I'm just begging that we make this. I don't think we will, though. And um, we've got low fuel for Pernay now. Let's low fuel on that. Oh, we're just... We're, <laughs> I think I may have messed this up. I think I may have messed this up. This is going to be so tense. Oh, will we make this? Will we make this? Please, Balcazar, keep chugging along for second. Keep chugging along. We are going to make the end of the Grand Prix. Yes, we are. It is going to be second place for Balcazar. Just made it through at the end. And it's going to be sixth place for Pernay. So she did come back through in the end for the, for the final point. Whew. My heart was pounding throughout the entire, that pr entire process. Ah, oh. you got to say... Again, I bring this back. Because Pernay was 15th and Balcazar was 7th, I think it was. Because of that 8th place position deficit, I think Pernay has done the same good job as Balcazar, actually. So, I commend both of them. To, to make up the 8 places with a heavier fuel tank at the end, I think she's done a very commendable job there. But Balcazar, wow, she gave me a heart attack at the end there with, what was it, 3 parts that are basically failing on the car and we just about made it through. Whew. Right, so there we go. Six points. And, oh, wait, well, hang on. What? No points for sixth? Did they change it? I thought it was the top six that get get points. Was it not? Or was it always the top five? I might be mistaken. I might, I, I might, uh, I, I think I might have completely fucked up and mistaken it was top six. I could have sworn it was top six. Okay, it was top five then. Still, Pernay did a pretty damn good job to get up there into sixth. Just unfortunate. Okay, then. So only one points paying position. Second place, though. Awesome. So what does that mean for the Constructors? Balcazar's up into third. Pernay down to sixth. Constructors, oh my god. Constructors wise, we're in first at the moment. Okay, then. Um, I will take that. I will, I'll gladly take that. <laughs> Right, so after that absolute heart attack of a race, we've got uh, some emails, podium for Balcazar, obviously very happy, except interview. Um, Simon Flores had a bit of a disaster in that race, finishing down in seventh. What's your analysis? Uh, got unlucky. Yeah, I'm going to compliment, I'm going to compliment Flores because she is a rival driver, but I want to be that kind of, uh, I want to be that kind of team manager that does compliment other drivers. So, you know, let's just add that on, new personality trait added on because of that. Special conditions. Driver is opening to discussing terms with you. Apparently now. Okay. But, yeah, I'm tapping my nose. Let's uh, let's let's, let's uh, you know. Let's see what happens next season. You never know, Flores. Um. So Belgium, Belgium, Beijing Grand Prix coming up. Uh, in terms of parts, what we're doing at the moment, we're getting that engine built in eight eight days in twenty hours. Right. In terms of car repairs, going to continue doing brakes, continue doing the engine, and I'm going to remove the rear wing. Because that wasn't actually critical last time. Again, the uh, gearbox ended being critical. So let's keep on improving that. Not a big gap to Beijing. That actually came really fast there. The gap between uh, those two races, not a lot. But the new engine gets built. Um, working on that. Reliability-wise, let's remove that one. And let's add the new engine on. That's 40%. I may use that still with the nurse part with Pernay, to be honest, because it's got such a big performance gain. But let's get away straight away into designing a new part now. Uh, let's look at high speed. How many high speed tracks do we have coming up? 
Um, low speed, high speed. Uh, acceler acceleration's coming up a lot there. Yeah, let's make a new gearbox. Acceleration's coming up a lot there, so I think that's the next part that's worth doing. Uh, design part, gearbox. Right. Let's go 25 to max. Well, I mean, because we're not... Cause, because we're not improve. Oh, uh, that's not even a... Oh, uh, that's not even a... Yeah, okay, fine. 25 to max. 1 million. Right. Build that. At some point, I think I'm going to have to probably earlier than I want to slide this over to performance to actually start improving these because at the moment, it's just not worth it. It's just going at snail's pace. But we do have new sponsors. Slot 2. We've got... Okay, looks like... Over 7 races. That's not going to be this... That's going to be not the same amount, is it? Yeah, this one's going to be the better offer. So we're going to take this one. Four stars, 2.7 up front straight away for eight races long. That's all good. Nice cash injection there. I'm happy with that. Also, I am so sure that these bars fluctuate and they're just wildly really inaccurate to really gauge where we are as a team because this was here now. Like, it looks like we're level pegging sixth in terms of our drivers. Apparently, our drivers are like bang in the middle of uh, in terms of talent. But, like, initially in pre-season, it was down here, like, below average. It just fluctuates a little bit. Just something I thought I'd point out. I, I, it's, it seems a little bit odd. Anyway, on towards the Chinese Grand Prix. Going to go for third or above again. Feeling, feeling like we can do that again. In terms of tyre wear, again, we'll go for the uh, more soft option. We'll add in some mediums just, just because. But um, once again, I think this time now, I'm going to go aggressive with both of them again. Because even though Perne, as I said... She came fifth, Balcazar came second, and so in terms of net positions gained, Pernay gained more positions. But I'm just not too sure. I'm not too sure if that strategy worked out or not. I don't know. I don't know. I think we should try again. You know what? Let's try it again. For China, I'll try it again with Pernay. We'll try the long way with a bigger fuel tank once again, and we'll, we'll acid test it a little bit, because I think you need a few races to see if it's really working or not. In terms of fit parts, I think I may try and risk it. And give Pernay this engine. And then give this one to Balcazar. Because now this one is the most reliable. But she doesn't have the nurse perk. But because she's got the nurse perk for Pernay. I can think I can afford to give her this performance boost. And kind of alleviate the reliability issues. Apart from that. Everything else remaining the same as usual. Just giving Pernay the least reliable parts. Because she does have that perk. Right, one and a half minutes coming up to, to left of practice, and uh, we're looking very, very good. At the moment, you can see we'll just about tick over the level three on soft and race trim. Pernay, all three excellence when I send her out for a setup, so she's looking very, very good. And for Balcazar, two excellence and a great. So, big thumbs up for practice. Looking decent, looking decent. Looking forward to this uh, race. Just have to hope for a better grid slot than last time, especially for Pernay, because I really am actually very curious myself on if this fuel strategy is going to work. Because I couldn't really tell, as I've already, already said, but there were parts in that race where Pernay genuinely had some really awesome pace with such a big fuel tank on her, and it was looking like, you know, it was it was going to work out. It's just a shame that, because she started so far, far back, I couldn't tell if she could have maybe been around where Balcazar was if she started in a similar position. Um, so I'm hoping the grid slots are a bit more equalized this race, so I can actually tell this time. But in terms of practice, both pretty equal. Um, but again, third or above for 1.3 million. I'm confident we can do that again um, because we'll have even better reliability this race than we had last race. We managed to pull it through. And the grid slots are third and ninth. Okay, Balkas are very good. And Pone, I'm happy with that. At least she's in the top 10. So, okay, let's, let's do this again. So we're going to go for race trim. I'm going to go for refueling faster. It actually ended up being a very nice perk. Um, I, th I think it worked well. Uh, race trim and nurse. So we're going to go for car setup. You can see there. But uh, I'm going to leave the fuel for for uh, for Pernay because we're going to just fill up the entire tank. 27 laps of fuel. So pretty big damn, uh, pretty big tank. But um, remember, that's going to be a bit of a long-term game, basically, in that sense. And then for uh, Pernay, uh, for Balcazar, sorry, we're going to fill up for 11, 11 laps. Yeah, we'll fill up for 10 laps of fuel. 10 laps. Yeah, 10 laps of fuel seems about right. Yeah, 10 laps of fuel. Actually, you know what? Let's add one more one more lap just so I can use a bit of rich mix. 12 laps. There we go. Right. Driver strategy. Push. Uh, ooh, uh, overtake. Push. Overtake. Right. Let's go for it. Let's see. I am very, very curious. Let's see how this works out. We go to five red lights to the Chinese Grand Prix from third and ninth. We are off. Is it an okay start? It's um, ugh, a little bit mediocre for Valkazar. 
pretty much the same for Pernay. Let's speed this up and let's see how things progress through this. Balcazar down to fourth. Now back down the inside. She's back up into third. So doing well there. Pernay, meanwhile, up into 10th. Oh, no. She tried to go up into 10th, but now not struggling a little bit. I, I sense she probably has more fuel in the tank than most other people, I would say, probably. But let's immediately go conserve because I want to try and stretch this stint out for Pernay, basically. For Balcazar, she's up into third. Safety car. Safety car's out. Do we pit? Should we pit? No. Now nah, there's no point. We're only two laps in. Right, pause. Low fuel, back up. Low fuel, low fuel. Right. One lap remaining the safety car. Right, that should help us out quite a bit on both driver's senses. We're into first place, actually. And third. Okay, this should really help us out now. This should really help us out. Right, go, go, go. Safety car's in. And Pernay. Ooh, she looked like she was going to make a move for third place there nearly. But I'm attacking because the tyre temps are really, really cold. So I need to get these tyre temps up very, very fast. And then I'll bring Pernay back down to neutral and continue to try and just extend this stint as much as we can with her. Whereas with Balcazar, I'll just let it push. Because, you know, we're going to come in anyway in like, I would say, four laps time. So we'll just let her push. But for Pernay... I'm already going to go down to neutral potentially here. Just really focus on that tyre wear. Trying to extend it as much as we can. Oh, what? She crashed. No. No. She crashed. What? I, I was like, I was like the game glitch. Why is it moving my camera? But it's, uh, she crashed. Oh. Pernay. Oh, are you? Uh. Right. Balcazar, it's all on you. No pressure. No pressure at all. Right, safety car's out for Pernay. So Pernay may help Balcazar out in the end. Right, we're going to pit. Um, set of soft tyres. Yes, no. Softs, yeah. Let's go softs. Go for 10.2 laps. Let's go Let's go a little bit more. Let's go 12.2. How's the bar condition? That's part, yeah, okay, cool. Right. Balance pit stop, yeah. Let's go for it. Putting in this lap. Ah, oh, that's a real shame though, Pernay. I was, as I said, I was genuinely curious to see if her strategy would pay off because she was in third at that point. So it could have, it may, it could have well paid off big, 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 big time. So I'm really, really gutted that she crashed. Right, safety car's coming in. Going to go on attacking high fuel mixture. Come on, Balcazar, please get a good start to this. Please get a good start. Oh, is she going to go down the order into turn one? It's going to be close. You'll just about say he ahead for now. Right, so now, as I said before, with the last safety car restart, she's attacking like a madman to get the tire temp bump into a good region. And uh, she's got the she's got the tire temp for it, so it's fine, it's fine. Right, lap 16. Balcazar still in first place. Pace not being amazing on that last lap. Push in this lap. We're going to come in. Another set of soft tyres. We're going to... Uh, how many laps of fuel do we put in? Let's put 10 point... Yeah, 10, 10 laps of fuel. 20 laps, 26. Make a last gasp. Pit stop. Or do we go on mediums and try and take this to the end? I think we can go mediums and take this to the end, actually. Let's try something different. Let's try something different. Let's, let's try and take this to the end of the Grand Prix if we can. Right, so it'll be 17. So we need 13. We need 16 laps of fuel. Right, let's put in 17. Right, I think that'll be good. Fast pit stop. Let's try and speed that up if we can. But, um, yeah, let's try something different. Let's try something different. Let's go with medium tyres and let's see how that goes. Right, she's in. Good pit stop. Very fast pit stop. Attacking on exit. Out in third place. Looking good. Looking good. Right, 14 laps remaining at the moment. We're on excess fuel. I'm putting it in the high, but I'm also wary that I don't want to wear out this engine too much. 29% by keeping it in high. But for now, it's good. For now, it's good. We're on neutral middle way on the tyre temps. Probably want to push that a little bit to keep it in a good enough region. But I don't think we're catching second or first too much. But obviously, they're going to pit and then we're going to overtake them. But I don't know. Uh, it's basically a question if our parts and our tyres will go all the way to the end of this race. I really hope they can do and we can remain pretty decent pace because then we could be fighting for first, potentially. I don't know. Right, 10 laps remaining. Still on high, uh, still on uh, pushing, but we're going medium fuel because the engine's now down to 21%. So our car will be pretty critical towards the end of this Grand Prix. Just going to have to see if it, ple if it just holds out like Japan. I really hope it does. Big fingers crossed for that. I hope it can. 
but uh, we should be okay on the on the on the on the tire wear. I think we should be fine with uh, eight laps to go. I think that should just about go the distance. If not, worst case scenario, make a last gas pit stop and uh, change the parts, and then just bang in fastest laps to try and catch up the places we're losing. But for now, it should be okay. I would think. Hopefully. Right, we just about get up into first place, but second has Pitt and he's only 2.2 behind us on fresh tyres, sharp. No way we're getting first, no way we're getting first. Right now we're fighting for third place, I would say. That's what we're fighting for. And second potentially, second or third. And the car's starting to fail. Oh boy. Right, um, we got uh, 1.7 to Flores. Car's failing. Can't use excess. I can't use my fuel mixture to push, and tires are going off. We need to pit. We need to pit. We need to pit. Medium tires. Uh, this is why I never go hard tires. This is why. I, this is why I always just use softs and nothing but softs because it's just the best strategy always. Um, right. Fuel wise, not going to fill up on fuel. Might even remove remove fuel. Actually, removing fuel is going to add to our time. Uh, I'm going to minus one lap of fuel. Uh, fix the engine. How much is that going to add on? 19 seconds. We'll exit well behind. Oh, if I don't change the engine. Oh, fuck's sake. I need to change the engine, though, because I need to push. I need to push. I need to change the engine, so I have to do that. Right, pit in. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just see how this works out. Is it a please be a good pit stop? Please be a good pit stop. Awesome. Right. Overtake mode on the exit. Attack mode on the, uh, on the exit. Right, pushing like a madman to try and get a podium at least. Come on, come on. We are gaining. We've gained 3.8. 3.8. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Keep it going. 3.9. We're taking a lot out of third place. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Rear wing's failing. We'll ignore that, we'll ignore that. Because we've got better things to worry about. We need to try and catch third. We can try and limp home on a broken rear wing, but... Uh, I'm not too sure about his pace. I'm not too sure if third place may have... He does have... Look, maybe has the pace to do this. We've got two laps remaining. Just about enough fuel. Nah, the gap's way too much. The gap's way too big. Unless third place has a huge issue right at the end of this Grand Prix. Looks like fourth place is going to... What, uh, what we have to settle for, unfortunately. Just couldn't do it to get it today. And in hindsight, the safety car actually screwed us over, really. Would have been better if we didn't have a safety car because it allowed people to extend their hard tyre stints. And so, yeah, we come home in fourth. I mean, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty still decent. But uh, what could have been? We could have been second or third if it wasn't from the safety car, potentially. And also, I really shouldn't have been like, oh, let's try the mediums because what was I thinking? It, we're Archer. We've literally used the soft tyres for the entirety of our career. So after that, we are in third place still on the drivers. Perne moves down the order, obviously, after that unfortunate crash, which I'm still pretty damn annoyed at. And it means we move one point down from Steinman. So we're in sixth, uh, sec second in the championship by one point there. So we're still pretty damn close to the fake Mercedes team. So all in all, very, very successful episode. And I'm liking this so far. It looks like... I don't want to say this too early, because obviously at this stage, everyone's quite unreliable. So that's how we're able to gain on cars. And later on in the season, we probably will be thrashed a little bit. But uh, I would like to say cautiously, we can try and maybe keep second in the championship. I think first, a little bit out of our reach this season. I think this is a build the season for next season, um, where we where, where next season we'll go for the championship. But you never know. You never know. But keep the faith. Keep the faith. But all in all, pretty successful episode. So, guys, if you did enjoy that, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And you're around here, then do subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been Arafa. Hope you're today. And I'll see you guys next time.